Good morning. I want to talk real quickly here about this central bank digital currency thing, why I don't think it's going to be coming in anytime soon. Okay, please listen to me, consider my points before you say, oh no, it's a done deal, it's going to happen. Uh, I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> point number one. You have to condition the masses before they accept something new. All right, and this, ever since 2020 with the scamdemic, uh, people now that are in positions of power think that they can ram things through and whatever else because um, after all, a lot of people followed things that didn't make any sense during the scandemic, so therefore we can now just make things happen and people will do what they're told. Uh, well, that's a problem because not everybody went along with the whole thing. Okay, a lot of people resisted and a lot of people that were not awake to tyranny, um, w they woke up during the 2020 situation. So, um, yeah, a lot of people complied and some people complied and then later on turned against it and said, no, I'm not going to do this anymore, you know. And when they came out with the, oh, you have to take the uh, hokey pokey in the shoulder, a lot of people said, no, I'm not doing that. I might have gone along with the other things, but I'm not doing that. So, um, it takes years many years to make changes happen and you can't just expect it to be a thing of now you can do mass you know formation psychosis and now we have everybody will do what they're told to move my gate here um and no problem you know we're we're fine we've got it we've got it made everything's going to be fine uh no that's not going to happen and the other thing which convinces me even more that the central bank digital currency is not going to be coming out uh, very soon, and that is in order to bring in a complete digital currency, you have to wreck the current economy. Well, the problem with that is, again, going back to 2020, um, that was uh, domestic abuse. Back then in 2020, all the restrictions and lockdowns, you can't go see family members as they're dying in the hospital and all the other stuff. You ruin people's minds. And you look at the mental illness crisis here in America, since the whole thing in 2020, it's just exploded. So you crash the economy. Hey, we've crashed the economy. And now we can bring in a new digital currency. If you crash the economy, it's going to be rioting, looting. It would pretty much be the trigger for civil war, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> and so again, I see this thing, oh, you know, they'll, they'll destroy the economy and then they can bring out their digital currency. Well, not really. Uh, it's not going to be quite that easy. And uh, another thing, you know, they spent many years here in America getting people away from gold and silver and real copper coins. Uh, the modern penny is not a copper coin. It's got just a little layer of copper on it. Um, but the older ones were almost pure copper. Um, you don't understand that, 1982. They took away the gold in 1933. They took away the silver in 1964. Took away the, the copper in 1982. And so for many years, multiple generations, they had to teach people that cash is something that's good. And cash is not actual money. The Federal Reserve notes aren't actual money. It's just a currency. It's, it's fraudulent. Um, it's not backed up by anything. They claim it is, but it's not. But see, people want something physical. I, I'm going to offer you, uh, you know, I, I like your pickup truck over there or something. I want you to, I would like to buy it. Well, what do you have to give it to me? Well, I'm just going to take out my phone and go or something in there and it goes to your account well yeah but then you know I, I need to make sure and I want to wait for a few days and you have to give me some time here and I mean literally yesterday we were at a bookstore we go there quite frequently in the town of Holton and um, and the bookstore they don't have any kind of digital payment option it's all cash or check and that's it there isn't any kind of a, um, well, you know, okay, you can just, you know, use your phone, tap your phone or, you know, scan your hand or something. 
there isn't anything like that, okay? It's cash only, okay? Another point against CBDCs, there's actually moves in, you know, within government realms, Congress, Senate, whatever, uh, where they're coming out and they're saying, you know, that they're considering passing bills and passing legislation that would make it that that you can use cash, even if the CBDC thing comes out. You know, and the, I did a video on the whole Fed Now thing, and they literally say in there that there's a lot of programs that they have, um, you know, that they want to implement different things, steps in the Fed Now program, but yet it's it's not the right time for it. People aren't ready for it yet. Yeah, people are not ready for it yet. Uh, if I'm going to sell the truck that I showed there in the early part of it, uh, my old plow truck, I'll spin around here, right th there. If I'm going to sell that thing, it you know I might be able to get $1,000 for it. It's a rust bucket, runs good, motor's great. Everything else is falling apart and it's not very good. Uh, four wheel drive's pretty terrible and everything. It's a very light duty truck. But if I'm going to sell that and I'll say, you know, maybe $1,000 I'd like to get for it. Uh, I don't want to take some kind of digital payment. I want cash for that. I'm not going to be okay with somebody saying, well, you know, can I just pay with, uh, you know, I'll, through PayPal or some kind of, uh, uh, I want cash for a smaller, you know, amount like that. And so uh, a lot of people get really stressed out about it and they just kind of say, well, it's going the way of digital. It's going the way of digital. And they just, again, so many people have this defeated mentality that, well, because I know the Bible says that there's the mark of the beast technology in the future, then we just have to kind of just put our head down and just kind of, okay, I'll go along with it. I'll just, I'm not happy about it, but there's nothing I can do. You know, uh, that's not the right attitude to have because the Bible says, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. That's a reference to the body of Christ. We are supposed to hinder. Never forget that. And it is working. It's working. Just like the thing of the electric vehicle mandates. You know, they come out in California, I think, what is it, the year 20... Oh, I can't think of the year right now. If you know, put it in the comment section below. But they're coming out with this thing saying by the year 2000... What is it, 27 or something? Or whatever, the, that they're not... You can't have a... A gas-powered vehicle anymore and so what a bunch of different people are doing on YouTube is um, they're coming out and they're saying uh, hey look at this here's another article EV catches on fire they can't put the fire out <laughs> hey look at this one here's a guy that uh, literally saw one the other day where some guy uh, was in his Tesla car and um, he was sitting in you know, in the city someplace or whatever else. And the thing started to catch on fire as he's sitting there at a stop sign. And it just went, boo, and everything just died electronically. And he couldn't get out. And so he literally had to lay down on the seat quickly and take his feet and smash the, the driver's side window. And crawled out through the broken glass and everything. And he's over there, gets his cell phone out, and he's filming his own car burning that he just smashed the side window out of. You know, and see more things are coming out like that. Tesla sales are dropping. Uh, a lot of different electric vehicles are just, they're just falling apart. And these stupid cyber trucks, I mean, just look like, a, look like a chest freezer on wheels or something. And these cyber trucks, you know, uh, the sales are, are not doing so good. And there are so many videos coming out now, you know, some guy trying to cross a river and he gets the thing stuck and <laughs> can't get out. Uh, a couple guys tested one and and um, they have to, you know, they try to get down through this gully I was watching and, and they try to get up this other thing and, and they, they couldn't make it. And so they had to stop and they had to push a little button and they had to wait till the thing raised itself up a few inches. You can make it go up or down, you know, wow give it a lift kit with a push of a button and they're sitting there waiting and I had a truck that was, you know, 20, 30 years old and it just went right down through the ditch. People don't want them. There's all kinds of problems. And again, we are supposed to resist the devil. 
oh, they're going to pass stuff about the Bible, like I've said in other videos. No. No. You're not getting my Bible. You're not going to force me to drive some electric vehicle wind-up toy that can blow up and, you know, catch on fire in, in a matter of minutes and, and then burn at such a rate that you can't put it out. I'm not interested. Um, and I'm not going to be using central bank digital currencies. I'm not using self-checkout lines. Um, no, I'm not doing that. And uh, I'm not taking any hokey pokies in the shoulder either. I don't care what the supposed disease you come out with. And propaganda and fear and whatever else. Again, please remember, and this is something to encourage you, please remember that 2020 was actually a failure. Um, it was a failure for tyranny because they went too far with it. There's a point at which you pull back from the tyranny. You cannot just conquer people and just horrible, terrible things being done to them. You'll start to make the people angry after a while. All right. Uh, I mean, out here, there was no uh, restrictions or you need to show your green pass or whatever else. I'm a free man. This is my land. Nobody forced me to do anything. I didn't have to wear anything, you know, on my face out here uh, the entire time. So I know what it's like to live in freedom. And there's a lot of other people, millions of other people in America that are the same way. Uh, I didn't go along with anything. And a lot of you didn't either. And we fought it. And you know what? A lot of people woke up. And a lot of people are waking up to the central bank digital currency scam. And so, again, be encouraged. I believe if, you know, there's one of the reasons that there's no scripture saying that the catching up of the body of Christ will be such and such year after certain blood moons or whatever else, or September 23rd, like certain false teachers continue to say every year. Um, the reason that that's not there is because um, the catching up of the body of Christ, I mean, the Lord knows when it's going to happen, but the condition of the world and everything else is somewhat flexible. And it depends on us, of the Lord working through us. Let me say it that way. Um, the Lord working through the body of Christ, we can hinder the system. Um, it's similar to, you know, the judgment seat of Christ. So let me say it this way. The judgment seat of Christ is not an automatic, um, you know, you get these certain rewards and that's the way it is. No, the rewards are based on your service, my service. What I do for the Lord is going to determine what rewards I get someday. What you do for the Lord is going to determine what you get. Um, well, in like manner, um, what we do down here is going to determine what uh, happens to this country. What is the future of America? Well, that's up to you. It's up to me. Um, we have to do what we can to hinder this system. And, you know, uh, that's why I depend on my viewers... And I'm thankful for you, number one, for your prayers. That's the most important. Uh, your support of this ministry, thank you for that. But I also depend on you for the, another big one, and that is help get these videos known. Do something to help advertise this ministry. It um, doesn't cost you anything to do that. And it's extremely important because with YouTube, their little algorithms and whatever else, they bury these videos. They unsubscribe you, they delete your comments, and... People get frustrated. They think, well, I didn't say anything wrong in my comment. Why would he delete it? You know, always remember, okay, uh, I am never online at 8 o'clock at night or something. I'm very tired at that time. And, uh, you know, I'm going to bed at 8.30. Sometimes I go to bed at 7.30 at night. So if your comments are getting deleted between about... <clears throat> maybe four o'clock in the you know, p.m. to about, um, I don't know, maybe seven or eight o'clock a.m. If your comment gets deleted in that time frame, Eastern, Eastern Standard Time, it's not me doing it, okay? I'm not even there at the office. So, and I don't have a cell phone or something that I'm sitting up, you know, in the middle of the night deleting your comments, you know, or something, uh, no. Um... So, I uh, just wanted to put that out and um, have some projects that I need to work on. Right now, we've been away for a few 
the last two days we had a bunch of errands to run and so we put quite a few miles on our vehicles and uh, ran a few errands and had some good times just getting away from the office for a little while but uh, now it's time to get to the office upload this video edit render uh, upload <laughs> and um, you know but please do share the videos you know hit the like button all that stuff you know I hate to even talk about that I've, I never really make a big deal about that but I understand you know it would be nice if this channel can grow as much as possible uh, with YouTube um, shadow banning me and the whole thing and like I said um, I don't delete very many comments a lot of negative comments about me I leave them there uh, a lot of my viewers you answer those comments you'll go back and forth with these people and what that's doing is it's building up your experience it's building up your boldness so you answer these heretics and you'll start to learn the way that they talk the, the way that they the standard way that these people will uh, attack on whatever issue and uh, you can learn a lot and then it gives you more boldness in the actual physical world of dealing with people uh, non-digitally <laughs> dealing with people so uh, don't get stressed out about this whole central bank digital currency thing the Federal Reserve right now this money situation and it's one of the things we have to deal with unfortunately um, this all this fake wealth this debt-based economy it's just disgusting um, a lot of people think like i've said in other studies that it was god's blessing and we've prospered like no other nation you know except for ancient israel um well there's a lot of truth there uh ancient israel at one point was blessed by god and um, america at one point was blessed by god as well but for different reasons because of you know religious liberty is what the blessing of god was um, but all this money, quote unquote money, the wealth of the American people, you go back, it's based on debt. All that extreme explosion in wealth came after the Federal Reserve was created because they could just print money out of thin air uh, without any kind of gold backing. And they, the whole banking system, if you study it, they can lend out money and lend out money and lend out money all with the, the illusion of hey, we have backing for this whole thing. And they don't. Um, they don't have your money in the bank. They, The whole thing. But where it's at right now is the dollar has lost almost all of its value. The BRICS currency is going to replace things. The I heard that India took out something, like I think it was 100 tons or something, of silver from uh, England. I forget if it was the Bank of London or something. SD Bullion had a video about it the other day. And um, the BRICS countries are pulling their wealth out of the West. And the West is going to die without that. And they were showing, you know, some of these people in the West, you know, commentators and things, and mainstream media. And they're saying about how that BRICS is just kind of a, eh, not a big deal. And there's not that many. Uh, and actually, it's most of the world. <laughs> the vast majority of the world is now, the world's population is part of BRICS. Um, the West is dying. Uh, that's why the Bible talks about the kings of the East. Um, Eastern kingdoms coming up to replace the West. It's prophecy being fulfilled. So uh, as this nation falls apart, as we have civil unrest and all the other stuff, um, again, there will be opportunities in that to witness to people. People will wake up. Um, I know that people, there are a lot of people that actually said that they woke up during 2020 because they found my ministry in that time period. A lot of people have done that. So if things get bad, it leads to opportunities, preaching opportunities. So that's the way things are heading. All right, I guess I'll stop my little ramble here and head to the office. Trying to see this little bird that's singing here in this tree. Don't see him right now, but at least you heard him. I know a lot of you say you like to hear the birds singing, and it certainly is a blessing. 
they like to sing in the morning and uh, birds are our alarm clock which is nice um, we get up basically when they do they get up about 4 30 in the morning and we get up about the same time so all right well that's going to be it and um, please do share the video and everything else and uh, we'll see you in the next one thank you for watching